In part one, we got to a point where Jack was investing £200 with an interest rate of 3%. This means that every year the amount in his account will increase by 3%. So, for example, after one year, if we add on 3% to 100%, we can do 1.03, 103%, times by 200, which can be done on a calculator, to get £206. However, suppose you wanted to know after three years how much Jack had in his account. This is a multiple increase over three years. And so a calculation you can do is 1.03 times 1.03 times 1.03. Year 1, year 2, year 3, times by the original amount, and then we end up with £218, and we'll round this to 55 pence. This is money. And this therefore shows how much he has after three years. Now, if you wanted to do after a lot of years, e.g. after 20 years, this could be some high-interest savings account, then as a shortcut, we can use powers. So 1.03 to the power of 20, which is all the 20 years, times by the 200 and this will give us the total amount which Jack will have after 20 years, which on a calculator gives us £361.22.